Hello, uh, this is a, a tutorial video on how we can plot a temperature versus time graph using uh, Microsoft Excel. Uh, and this is a useful video if you've kind of done a lab where you are measuring the change in temperature over time of maybe a chemical reaction or um, something else uh, where you've kind of recorded this type of data. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to start with entering our data for time. Okay, and so in our column A we want to mark um, time and include our units so if, if it was over seconds make sure you put in seconds if it was minutes put it in minutes um, and then begin to enter your data uh, and so the data that I'm gonna enter in has a time interval of uh, every 10 seconds uh, we took data okay and so it may be a little bit different for you but you would continue to enter in your data uh, for time then in our next column is where we're going to enter in our data for temperature. And we also want to make sure that we're including the units that we took um, in our data. So whether it was degrees Celsius or degrees Fahrenheit. And so I'm just going to use degrees Celsius. Okay. And then you're going to enter in your data for temperature for the respective time that it was taken at. Okay, so let's say that initially I was at room temperature, and then we'll just say that my temperature began to rise. Okay, and so obviously, once again, you're going to enter in your data, and you would continue down if you've got more data points. Okay, but once you've entered in all of your data, what you're going to do is you're just going to highlight that data. And then you're going to go to your Charts tab. Um, if you're using uh, Excel on Windows, that, tab, that Charts tab may be somewhere up here. Okay, But for uh, using it on Mac, the Charts tab is right here. And then what you want to select is the XY scatter chart. Okay, This will give us a nice X and Y axis. Okay, And then you can kind of select from which one that you would like. I typically uh, select uh, the line one that gives me the data points as well okay and so after we've kind of clicked our chart Excel goes ahead and graphs our data and we see that our x-axis is our time data and we see that our y-axis is our temperature okay and we also kinda are given a title here and we always want to make sure that we've got our title I'm just gonna call this temperature versus time Okay. But we also like to have titles for our axes as well. Okay, and so for I know for on Mac, you're gonna take a look at your formatting palette um, on the right on your toolbox, and under chart options for titles, uh, we can select um, our vertical or our horizontal axis. So for my vertical axis, that's gonna be my temperature in Celsius. Okay and then we can go to our horizontal axis and we would enter in our time okay and hit enter if you're using Excel on uh, Windows uh, I believe you go to, to the layout tab and under the options for layout there is a button where you can press um, to enter in a title for the axes okay uh, but once you do that you are pretty much done with your graph your temperature versus time graph okay so hopefully this uh, video was helpful for you thanks for watching